Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for the 6th to the 12th of July 2020. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. If you're new, then you wouldn't know that. But um, welcome to the channel and I do go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So please hit that subscribe button and uh, the bell on all. Then you'll be notified. I do send out notifications via Facebook, Instagram or YouTube community button. Uh, I've had re complaints about people not getting notified by YouTube, so I have to do it myself. So there, um, and please uh, subscribe, uh, it's much appreciated. And welcome back, my cyber angels. Thank you very much for your likes. You came in on the 10th of uh, out of the 12 zodiac signs, as there were. Um, 16 uh, likes so if you would like to be first then keep on uh, putting those likes up and you'll be first okay and that is this is the way I show my appreciation everybody that uh, gives the most likes um, will be first I'm using my nine card spread as you are accustomed to by now this is the Quirin card or the overall uh, theme card Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the corner cards are to clarify the three and vice versa okay you've got the angel feather the crystal and the answer of the angels if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading then please don't hesitate to send me an email all the information is below this video or you can go to the website um, and in the top right hand corner you will find a white circle with I uh, in it and that will take you to my website just click on that and open it up and it will take you to charliesangeltarot.com also uh, there will be a new reading added onto the website this week and that will be my crystal ball reading I do a crystal ball reading plus I clarify it with cards and uh, oracle cards tarot and or Lenamon and oracle so it's worthwhile considering and if you um, don't want to do that then you can get free cards in the reading and see whether it resonates with your question or ask your question and I'll answer it so long it's supported by a super chat or a super sticker okay let's get started with your reading and I hope you will enjoy it remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your rising sign or your moon sign and we start off with the knight of swords this could be a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian that um, you might be meeting or they will be sending you news. But the news could come from anywhere, okay? But you could be meeting one of these air signs. The um, news most probably will come through um, cyber, that's telephone, email, text message or even through the old fashioned way, airmail with on air mail paper and then you have the three of swords wow that could be pretty painful I do know that if you've lost somebody it doesn't only mean losing somebody in death if so my condolences but it also means losing somebody through divorce or immigration they'll still be your your friends but you'll see them less or fewer less uh, not so often it could be a less of a loss of a pet it could be a loss of a job it could be a loss of sight because he's wearing sunglasses and I love this deck because it's also humorous it makes it a little bit light-hearted sometimes when cards are difficult like this card so take off these glasses to get an other perspective to come out of your head to stop feeling sorry to stop feeling sad um, and see what is around you okay don't be Joe cool and hide your emo emotions but take off those sunglasses and show that you are upset don't hide behind shades or a mask open yourself up find somebody that can help you with 
your sadness and your loss. I do. Um, I am making a, a, a course um, or a workshop uh, dealing with loss, um, and it is basically getting another perspective. I can help you with this if you wish, but it will be only in the baby stages. Okay. I am a qualified life coach, but I concentrate at the moment on the tarot cards and I will be um, concentrating on the life coach later this year. As I said, it's still in the baby uh, stages. Okay, so it could be loss of anything. And a life coach has life experience, so they can um, re place themselves into your situation. That is if you've got a good life coach, because they have a life experience. It's not only out of books, and they don't use any medication. Um, but I can, I, I am not a doctor, but I can give you techniques um, to come into yourself, to develop yourself, to come at ease, to go and find your inner peace. If you are at peace, then the ones that uh, you've lost are also at peace. I do uh, converse with people that have gone over to the other realm. Uh, some call it heaven, but I call it an other frequency. Okay, an other realm. And uh, sometimes the messages are absolutely fantastic, but sometimes they're not ready. So I can't force it because if they are just gone over, then they usually have to have a, a, a time of peace to recover from the jet lag, let me put it that way. Now you could be getting news from somebody that is, um, that you, uh, you could have, you could get news about something that you've lost, perhaps that it is being returned or that there is a legal option here, like if you've lost a job or if you've lost a house, that there can be legally tweaked or a, a solution found. I'm only the messenger, so don't shoot the messenger, okay? I'm only a human being. I can only do my best. I am there for you, that's why I'm also doing free cards in the live sessions. But I know it takes time to heal, but it also needs working at and with. Okay, on Wednesday you have a new beginning, you've got the fool. Don't lose your head about your loss. Okay, life goes up and life goes down, and sometimes deep and sometimes high. So look at this figure. He's lost his head, he's panicking. And the cat is saying, come on, take that step. Take that step forwards. Take that step into the unknown. It can be exciting. It, take it as an adventure. You are the traveler of your life path. Sometimes we don't know where we're going to. Sometimes we have to take the next step in order to learn. We might come some across somebody that can help us. And in this case, it could be a soulmate, okay? Or it could be an air sign. It could be somebody from an institution or a municipality that will give you or help you getting things clear to put that back the head back up on your shoulders and to look from above the cliffs into a different perspective of things. And that is exactly what a life coach does. The answers are within you and the life coach asks you questions and they're not giving you suggestions, they're showing you an other perspective. Okay, on Friday you might have made a decision to seek help or to get help and to come in action and you are a champion except you didn't realize that okay you've got public recognition 
people know your side. People think you are a champion because you're showing your emotions. It takes guts to open up and to admit that you are sad or upset or bereaved. Let other people in. Let other people help you. They will support you. You might be moving home because you might have lost your home. You might have lost your home. And you're you finding an other option because somebody in the community said, I've got a room to spare. You can stay with me until you're back on your feet. There. That is something that you didn't realize. So put yourself out there. You might be going on holiday just to take a break away from all the sadness and all the clutter and leave that behind what has been happening with you. Okay? This could have been a divorce and you're upset and you are lost. You've lost your head. You don't know where you're going, what you want to do. So take a break. Go on holiday. But you've got public recognition. You are going onwards and upwards. You have got victory, except you have to come into action and take that leap of faith. You might even, if you go on holiday, you might even meet a new soulmate. This could be in, in love, this could be in, in, uh, in, in partnership at work, so you are getting back into balance. Wow. That is like, it could be a Gemini. I'm getting a feeling with the Two of Cups in this deck. It could even be a Gemini. Because a soulmate, um, the lovers, is Gemini in the Big Arcana. And this is also a soulmate because it's the Two of Cups. You found each other. Perhaps you had to do some more research because you've got the magnifying glass to take off those shades because it is lying next to the magnifying glass. You had to look closer. You had to take the shades off to be able to see things clearly and things would be will be magnified. Okay? So open your solar plex. Open your heart. Open your mind. Open your vision. Open that third eye your emotional chakra. Let the love come in, let the laughter come in, let the joy come in. Do the research. Who's interested in me if you don't know? It could also be a Gemini, like I said. Any of the air signs, because that's lying next to the cups. Wow. You could be getting help from institutions, like I said. If you are feeling sad, then open up your heart and ask for help. Don't shy away. If you've lost the ideas, if you've lost the perspective, if you've lost your head about something, panicking or stressing, then ask your GP, social worker or um, the social security uh, to help you to get your job. That is the tower. The tower in Linamon means you are ambitious, but don't forget the people around you whilst you're climbing the ladder. Perhaps that is why your relationship didn't work out, because you left them out in the cold. You didn't make time for them. So make sure that you let the people around you know that you love them that you're there for them so they will be there for you if you lose your job you could be working in a building with high rise or for a municipality or an institution if you've lost your job then they will be there especially if they are your soulmate now I also said if something judicial is happening because you've lost a job or uh, inheritance, if you've lost somebody uh, to the other realm, then there could be official news coming to you. But if somebody's done you wrong, look at this, you've got the mice. The mice means somebody might have stolen something from you. Uh, something is gnawing at you. 
and you're not seeing it and that's why you've lost it you didn't see it coming that somebody was um, being dishonest right and you knew something was wrong perhaps afterwards and that's been gnawing at you but you've seeked help from perhaps a, a new uh, notary public an advocate a jurist and you're getting the official news this week um, the mice also the mice also means that you can get find if you've lost something it means theft gnawing at you working in groups if you uh, have got a heavy workload then ask for help many hands make light work especially in investigation to get to, to the truth because the swords stand for truth and justice find things out don't lose your head about it get another perspective okay but the mice also mean what well, you might have lost something yeah okay so, uh, you might have mislaid something but whatever happens you have victory so long you put your head back on take the shades off and ask for help from others okay because it's next to the victory card the six of wands so what you've lost could be coming back or differently even better like if somebody's sacked you because of the COVID virus is hypothetical you've lost your job and you're scared of losing your home or you've lost your home all the bad scenarios all together then they've broken the law because they should have all and they didn't pay your social security so you're not getting any dull money there's your loophole perhaps that is the message in this reading so embrace change because it's coming you've got victory and look what the angels are saying embrace change you've got the cream angel chakra so you can eat cream you can meditate on cream contemplate on cream and evaluate never forget to evaluate you can eat ice cream and that will help you uh, to balance out get less stressed meditate on it it will help you to connect with the universe and the divine you might be suffering from headaches and that's why you're wearing sheds or shades you might have lost the cap capability of looking 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 so you need to wear dark glasses okay but amethyst will help you with migraine and headaches um, amethyst is a calming crystal so Aquarius use the crystal and also the crystal means familiarity unconsciousness habits old patterns in need of being released so if you've got any bad habits like drinking or whatever coming too late to work then take off those glasses and see what you've done wrong okay and don't be too familiar there is a saying that's coming into mind familiarity breeds contempt so know your P's and Q's but if you've got headache then wear amethyst again the angels are telling you communicate clearly let people know what they've done wrong let people know your feeling that you're sad <coughs> because of your loss communicate clearly that something is gnawing at you and something has happened that isn't right you want clarity and you want justice look into it ask for help from the people that are there doctors social workers social security advocates if you are in 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 a clinch with a soulmate then seek judicial 
advice or go to the marriage guidance counselor. Even if you're not married but you're living together, ask. Okay? Embrace change. Go with the flow. You grow, you should be growing. If you are hooked up, you should be growing with your partner, not apart from your partner. You have your interests, they have your interests and bring those interests into your relationship because that is what you can talk about and keeps the relationship exciting and fresh and renewing. So, you have a choice. If you haven't lost anything yet, if you haven't lost anything yet, excuse me, that's Millie, then take heed. There is an energy of perhaps a loss coming. So be there before it's too late. Take action. I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Aquarius. It's a strong reading. Don't shy away from uh, help. Ask for help. Take off those shades. Open your heart and your solar plex so that you can get clarity at something that is gnawing at you or something that has been taken away from you. Communicate clearly, watch out the intonation please and be open to change. I know we're all scared of change but you can consider it as a new beginning and a new beginning also means an end to bad old things. So let the old go let the new come in and be prepared to learn new things to enhance yourself and your relationships if you are hooked up or if you're going out with somebody. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please like and share and remember if you want to be first then keep on clicking the thumbs up and please subscribe and hit the bell and I hope to see you in the life. Take care my darlings and I love you loads. Have a beautiful week and be blessed. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.